Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm Quas, and this is Law Class's Beginner's Guide to Mundo. For my room page for Mundo, I go with hybrid penetration marks, health per level seals, coolant reduction per level glyphs, or magic resist uh, glyphs, depending on the matchup. And quints, I go for flat health or percentage health, bonus health uh, quints. So for Masters for Mundo, I go with 4, 26, and 0. And the reason is he doesn't really benefit from getting the points in AD or AP in the offensive tree. So i rather just put all the points I can in the defensive tree and get the most out of it. Um, for skills, you always want to get your cleaver level 1. It's the most important uh, ability that you can get. And you want to get your East level, uh, level 2 and then your e, uh, your W level 3 and maxing your Q first and then maxing your W afterwards. So for Mundo, I start off by getting a Dorian Shield if I'm up against a, a laner who uses a lot of auto attacks to harass. So most ranged matchups, I would go Dorian Shield. But if it's someone that doesn't rely on auto attacks to harass, then it's better to go for a Ruby Crystal. So if you're up against a Maokai, then for example, it's better to use go Ruby Crystal so you can fast get your Spectral Scout a little bit faster than usual. So your item build is Mundo usually is going to be full tank items. So you're going to get a Sunfire Cape, you're going to get Randuins, Warmogs, Spread Visage. Um, it depends on what you're facing mainly, but use, use, use any of the combinations of uh, the tank items available and use your best judgment for it. Um, Mundo right now is not as great for the same reason Maokai uh, is not as great because he's not a lane bully at all. He cannot win lane until very later into the game. So he's pretty weak until you get at least an item. Um, Mundo's strength is that he's a really beefy frontliner and he can keep slowing people down from a safe distance and gain a lot of focus from the enemy team since he has really high base damages. So he's, he's, a, he's a tanky threat that people, teams have to deal with. And I'd say for the weaknesses, he, he cannot win lane most of the time. So mo you're just going to be farming and expecting your team to hold their own weight. I think for Mundo, you just want to get as much farm as possible and get your items quickly without dying. Because that's when you hit your power spike. So you want to stay healthy enough so, so you don't get dove or you don't get ganked while still farming a pretty good amount of minions. So you're going to be using your cleavers to last it or giving up some CS that is going to get you punished and just using your judgment in lane to get as much farm as possible but without sacrificing a lot of health for it. <coughs> so what bring what Mundo brings to the table compared to other tanky top laners is that if he's not dealt with in terms of like an ignite or just really good focus with the enemy team, he can be a massive threat and stay alive for a very long time in a team fight and he can also uh, slow carries and sit on carries and actually kill them which is something that a lot of tanky top laners don't have just enough damage to actually kill a carry Mundo has really high base damages so he's pretty good at that so for Mundo since you are not strong in lane you don't want to pick him into characters that are also weak in lane but scale pretty well into late game so or I know you also don't want to pick him into things that pressure you way too hard so champions that uh, push you into turret and harass you way too much so a tip for Mundo for landing cleavers is you want to hold on to it for a little bit you don't want to throw it right away because as with every other skill shot in the game most people are gonna try to dodge it immediately so you can close the distance if you hold your cleaver for a couple seconds most of the time. So you want to keep in mind that you don't have to throw your cleaver right away because people are going to be in the mindset to try to dodge it. So you can close the distance on them. So the second tip for Mundo would be to be aware of the Grievous Wound debuff that the enemies, the enemies can apply on you. So if you're in a team fight, you don't want to run into four people if one of them has Ignite because you're going to get focused and burst it down before you can do anything. So even though you're really beefy, you can get killed if you get ignited, so that's the main thing to pay attention to.